solve and graph each solution set, we have the inequality negative 3x is greater than 12 or 4x is greater than negative 10. Let's solve each part separately and then we'll look to see what the solution of the compound inequality would be. Dividing both sides by negative 3, we will need to reverse the direction of the inequality symbol as we divide. So negative 3x divided by negative 3 would be x. Reversing the direction of the inequality, we have x is less than 12 divided by negative 3 would be negative 4. Or, dividing both sides of this inequality by 4, we do not need to reverse the direction of the inequality symbol because it's a positive number. So we have x is greater than or equal to negative 10 fourths. Simplifying, we would have x is greater than or equal to negative 5 halves. Now before we write this as the solution set, let's graph and see what the solution set looks like. To graph it, we can start by graphing each of these inequalities separately. So we'll start by graphing x is less than negative 4. And we mark off 4, negative 4 here. And we shade in the numbers less than negative 4. Then again, marking a negative 4 and then a negative 5 halves. On this line, we're going to shade the solutions to the second inequality, x is greater than or equal to negative 5 halves. So we draw a, a bracket to show that we're including the 5 halves and we shade in this part of the number line. Now the inequality said that x had to be less than negative 4, the compound inequality, less than negative 4 or x was greater than or equal to negative 5 halves. That means it can be in one interval or the other interval. So our solution set will be the union of the two intervals. So we have the set of all numbers that are less than negative 4 and the set of all numbers that are greater than or equal to negative 5 halves. We have the union of those two sets. So when we write our solution set, using set builder notation, we write the set of all x such that x is less than negative 4 or x is greater than or equal to negative 5 halves. Or we can write that in interval notation as the union of the interval from negative infinity to 4, not including 4, and negative 5 halves to infinity.